And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next deck. It's going to be Ash Harrowing. Uh, this deck has always looked pretty sweet. It's going to be my first time trying it out. Basically, we have or a deck built around playing Ash and playing Ash as many times as possible. Um, because And getting as many Ashes in play as possible. Because if you can get Ash leveled up, then your enemies with power zero can't block, and whenever it attacks, you frostbite the strongest enemy. Well, if you have, you know, four ashes in play and they all attack, well, you're going to be frostbiting four enemies, and then none of those enemies can block. And that's kind of the goal of our deck. So in order to accomplish that, um, we need to waste some ways to bring Ash back whenever Ash dies. Most notably, we have Rekindler. So like Ash, Ash gets killed, we use a Rekindler that brings back Ash. Okay, so that's that's um. That's kind of just like the the level one. That's what we're trying to do. Now to spice that up, we have some extra things. We have Harrowing, which you know can not only bring back Ash, but also brings back Rekindler, which Rekindler brings back Ash. So like you know we have the Harrowing combo. We also have other things like we have like Mist Call that can bring back Ash or Rekindler. We have Chronicler of Ruin that can kill a Rekindler, bring it back to revive another Ash. Um and that's that's about it. But so there's there's lots of ways that we can you know with all those cards there's lots of ways to get more and more ashes in play. We're also going to be using some threshes, so we can be challenging some some either some things that we frostbite or uh, just other things that we would be blocking and be able to be taking out our ash. And yeah, that's that's kind of our deck. It looks pretty sweet. We're gonna go play five matches over in ranked, and let's see if we can level up. Where are we at? We're at number 296. We started today at 1080. So, good day. Yeah, Pools, I've been hearing some of those reports on... Yeah, I still, like, listen to the um, the radio and everything. I've been hearing some some reports of some criminals that have been doing that, that, that just cough and spit and stuff like that on a whole bunch of food in the grocery store that then... That, they then have to throw away and it's just that's awful that people are some people do that those things and think it's like a joke and post it to social social media and all that stuff what what are we playing against karma as get rid of this we'll keep these yeah so moving to yeah so there you go thanks josh that's that's like the google doctor there that shows that says why i'm um, go into five matches, but I'm, I'm hoping it's, uh, you know, like some shorter videos for, for the YouTube watchers. Um, the, the problem with playing Avarose and Sentry here is Static Shock. Like, that's what we have to kind of be worried about with playing that. The thing is, I do have Glimpse Beyond, but I think I'm just going to go straight to attacks. All right, so I'm gonna let that happen. Draw my card. Play my other sentry. Man, now I'm kind of worried. See, you're always saying that I won't be able to go get milk. I was already worried to kind of leave, leave the house and try to get milk anyway. So I'm not going to have 8 mana for Thresh Mist Call next turn. I'm only going to have 7, like whenever we play Thresh. So it's possible I shouldn't have used this Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, and so basically, yeah, basically my videos were like two hours long, and now they'll be, ouch.
nine, so we can still draw another card. Now they'll be like 30 minutes to an hour, like around there. Alright, so I should go to the local convenience store. Okay, there's there's two very close convenience stores that are uh, very like you know big big convenience stores that that do a whole you know like they're they're big they do a lot of business and everything like they're they're you know right next to each other and I can go there. All right, so ten mana. Do I want to play Ash? Yes. I will unite the frail yard. Okay, yeah, there, there's a pretty, there's a, there's an Aldi's pretty close to. I live pretty close to, yeah, like a couple of really big grocery stores, and then yeah, like an alt or sorry, uh, gas stations, but then also, yeah, an Aldi's and a Kroger and a Walmart and a Target. I feel like someone's probably got milk. Like those are all like six minutes down the road. Um, let's see. Winter take you. So Thresh is at three out of six. So that's number four for Thresh. You get two more things to die. Where's Ezreal? Ezreal's already leveled up? Dang, this Ezreal's just gonna kill me, isn't it? So basically I can cast this and kill this this thing. That'll be number five. So I, I guess I should have Vile Feasted the other thing, but oh well. So that's five. And now this is six. Now I can go straight to attacks and have Thresh attack and bring an Ash into play. But I don't, like, this isn't really stopping. Uh, this isn't really stopping them from combo killing me with Ezreal. Like, you know, they just play Ezreal and then just play all these spells. You know, they just had every single one of their static shocks. They had all three and. Had so much. Targeting. I can't stop that. Yeah, they have it. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could have tried to keep Vile Feast and have Vile Feast and the box kill this, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's over. My spirit is 
Yep. And I can't I can't do anything to respond. This is all burst speed. Um, I need burst speed removal, but I don't I don't have burst speed removal. I need ruination to be burst speed. Yes, Chronicler does reset the Thresh ability. So yeah, I could play Chronicler, kill the Thresh, bring Thresh back uh, with a leveled up Thresh like that, and then then Thresh would be able to attack and put another Ash into play. So yeah, at, th at that point in the game, it just you know it, it of course didn't matter anymore because we were dead. But um, yeah, that's definitely something that we could have done. Let's see, Vladimir and Darius, Piltover and Zahn. Could definitely see Ruination being very good in this matchup, but I feel like we need to mulligan it and not having it in our opener. Because we don't want nine mana spells in our opener. Instead, we want seven mana and ten mana. See the Nebastian border from here. I love a taste of the action. Ow. <laughs> Mystic shot. So crimson with always seeking new horizons. Huh. Intrepid Mariner. Don't see too much of this card. Nothing can stop me. Do you think this intrepid mariner is from Seattle? That could be Seattle. Go, Thresh, go. Yeah, opponent is playing a spicy one. I like the art on Thresh. I like how they um, you know, kind of give you the the more full art here while it's in combat like this. Advent. That's pretty cool. Come here. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Yeah, I think that's Senna. The people are my strength. Nothing escapes my watch. I know another route. They get to give this thing elusive. Blood, glory. All right, so we're down to ten. Thresh has only seen one unit one unit die so far. Hmm. 
So. I could have saved it, of course, but we're going to use double miss call and bring back two thresh. I don't know why Senna's not a champion in this game. Senna's not even an epic. Which you'd think Senna would at least be an epic. That's a, that's a good point. I didn't really directly think of that. That's a good point. That's that's probably a better play there, Pools. If I would have just just taken the 7-6 and just let my Thresh die, then the 7-6 would have three toughness, so I'd be able to Brittle Steal it. That is true. We only take one damage there. But yeah. Could have set that up better. Um. In Avarosa's name. Okay. I was basically thinking, do I, should I even should I just trade with crowd favorite? That was the thing that you know we did have the brittle steel, but should we have just traded with crowd favorite? That's what I was kind of thinking. Oh wait, we're we're two and one, right? Didn't we lose? Yes, we did lose. Or are we one and one? Maybe we're one and one. Okay, we're one and one. Okay, so I just I just put the one in the wrong spot. Alright, diamond chest. Extra copies. I want rares. We got commons, we need rares. Yeah, rares. Oh, those ones are extra copies. Alright, got net a winter's breath. Good epic. Alright, second region done. Demacia Frelio you're done. Now all these other ones are, you know, like level 16 and up, but now we're just finishing them up. We'll do Ionia up next. And Ash Harrowing. Here we go. Yeah, Senna's now a champ for a while. I wonder if like in a in a future set, Senna will be a champion. I could see that. Okay, Senna's rarity is for draft expedition. That makes sense. Want it to show up more in expedition. You don't really want it, so you don't want it an epic that's like showing up as much. That makes sense. Mirror match, kind of. I don't know what to do with this card. So I'll keep it. I don't know what to do with it. That is true. Cythria does have like three or four different versions. That's true.
kind of both just doing nothing. Both just doing nothing. What Not and ready. Boo. That's one creature for Thresh. First one down. I four. Two mana, five four fearsome. That's broken. I could have had Ruination available this turn if I want to play that Vile Feast. Ruination does look kind of cool right now. We'll play the box, and I don't really want to play anything else, I don't think. Nah, we'll play the Sentry. Ooh. Interesting. They got six cards, I got six cards. I could see them playing Harrowing also. I could see them having a Harrowing deck, which I guess I need to somehow play around, which I guess the way to play around that is not cast Ruination ever and wait till they play Harrowing. 5-5 five, five Spider. This is actually pretty problematic. It's so 11 fearsome damage. Do I need to cast Ruination right now? <laughs> we can draw three, go up to nine. This is me taking, if they just go, you know, they get to act next, so if they just go straight to attacks. Yeah, that's probably dumb to do the draw three thing. That was probably dumb. I feel like this isn't a great ruination, though. Kind of want to draw harsh winds. That's what I want. Skitter is awesome, too, if we get to play it. We don't. If they just punk me out with two Mark of the Isles, I'll be sad. Nothing escapes my way. Hmm. 
I think my plan's bad. I, my plan. I'm thinking of like just attacking with all the stuff. Could be a bad plan. This could be a bad plan. Two creatures to die. So the 5-4 is going to be turning into one toughness, so we will be able to brittle steal it. Never mind. Alright, maybe we just need a ruination now. I'll protect the villages. Yeah, so now now Thresh levels up. And we can now get Thresh back with Rekindler because it's leveled up. Or like, you know, like we can now get, get leveled up Thresh back. Now I ruination. I don't feel like ruination is actually going to be so. Like if I ru the problem is if I ruination, they I'm tapped out. They have six mana to play stuff. Like let's say they play, you know, just a, a big creature that you know, like. A, let's say they just play like a five four. I can't I can't interact with a five four before it kills me. You know, they just untap and attack with a 5-4. Like, I don't know if they'd have another 5-4, but if they do, I'd be dead. So, yeah, that's that's what I was going to say. So I think the plan is Chronicler Thresh. And now I have two blockers. I don't want to Mist Call because we had all those other things die. You know, like, we could get, like, Spider Token back. Which wouldn't be good. So trying to stabilize. We're at four. We have three more cards in hand than they do. Battlefield... Kind of even, maybe a little bit better for us. All right, so we can use the eye to see what would happen. So they get an Ash, a Bjerg, and two of those things. So basically, the only thing that's a problem is the Bjerg. I really hope they don't have another four mana five four. If they do, I'm I'm dead. Oh, I have I have this thing though. Ooh, do we try this? It's 50-50. Nah, we just play our own harrowing, right?
So these should each be able to get an Ashen play for us. So it's not like I'm tapping out with nothing. Where's my ash at? I guess it's I guess it's just at zero out of five right now. Yeah, I guess the box would have killed all their stuff that they just got with the harrowing, wouldn't it? So yeah, I probably should have cast the box the last turn. I think, right, Darius, I think you're right. That I was kind of focused on Ruination, but, you know, Ash was a 5-3. You know, they got 5-3, 3-3. Everything would have died to me just playing the box. And then I would have been able to keep my leveled up Thrash, but... Thrash, but the thing is, is I was... My aim is true. I was just fine with with me having a harrowing. I was just fine with clearing out the board. So this is 50-50 shot. We have two options. 50-50 shot to get Thresh or Frenzied Skitter. Um, and then, or we just glimpse beyond this thing that's going to go away and draw three. Or we do nothing and just save the three mana and be able to Ruination, or sorry, be able to Rekindler, Sack Rekindler, bring back Rekindler. Next turn. That's probably our best play. Let's keep the three mana. I think I'm dead. I need to use I need to use the box before. How do I stay alive? Double I mean I can't block. Remember, there I can't block at all. So double harsh winds and like we can we can frostbite five things, but we can't frostbite the, the last. can't survive. Oh, that's true. Yeah, good, good call. Okay. We can, we can make these things block. Level up, Ash. These are our lands. We can block now.
Okay, still alive. Man, we've had some crazy games today. This this game is just awesome. So only three mana. Really wish we had five. Wish I could kill this and then missed call. Or if we just had, you know, if we could chronicler this, that would be nice too. But I do have the crystal arrow. This has been an epic game. The Ash Harrowing Mirror Match. We survived two harrowings. I mean, that doesn't mean it's a game. Like, just like how we survive, like, they can have their own harsh winds and things like that and survive. This game's not over, but, I mean, it may be if they don't have anything. The time is right. Strike now. They should have another crystal arrow. Like, they should have a crystal arrow in their hands. That's a great draw. Harsh winds. Great draw to help us protect. Uh, we have 17 cards left, and they have 23 cards left. A gift from They only got the three cards. They need they need like ruination just to kind of stay alive. Yeah, that harsh winds was a really big draw. I don't have to worry about anything. We don't need to miss call a re you know, we don't have spot for two rekindlers right now. Such naivete. Two spots for rekindlers. Now we do. Get a mash. As the, arrow flies. the arrow flies. What a game. What a game, man. I thought that we were dead there that turn and then then yeah, remember level up Ash. Um, 
get him to one power so they got to block. That was sweet. Yeah, we had four ashes and and uh, and you know we we didn't even get to attack with we didn't even get to put in. Oh no, we did we did put in two ashes with attacks with uh, after that harrowing. Okay, so we're probably let's see Shen Lux definitely getting rid of this. I'll keep the ruination. This is a probably a good ruination matchup. Wait, Shen Lux. What's Shen Lux? I don't know, but it's intriguing. What's Shen Lux gonna do? Make some big creatures. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I think not. You're covered. Adoration, stand together. Shield up. No closer. All right, pools, take care. Hmm. Interesting. They didn't get rid of Ash. I mean, it makes my life a little easier. Not really trying to set up ruination. Swiftly now. Yes, you. Right or no? Do I do this? Yeah, we could do that. They barrier this thing. It's a three-two. Swap the two and give them both barrier. Um, so many options. Harsh winds. We could just ruination. I feel like I shouldn't ruination yet. We could just let it happen and then mist call. Hmm. So many options. We're going to go with the Frostbite on both and Drain. That's the option we'll go with. The sun is shining. We should too. We should too. So if I play the box, Leave the target. and hopefully we can kill the Lux. It's me taking seven going down to seven though. Maybe I should have just blocked there. We'll revive a random ally that died this round. It could be anyone. Who knows? It's random. One candle for every soul. Let's get him. shine through me. As it will forever, my dear. Oh, they had another Lux. That's a bummer. 
Okay. So we know that those two are going to get frostbitten. So they won't be able to block. We'll have this block over here. My aim is true. This deck's pretty fun to play. I like this one. Down to three. These woods protect their own. Do I need a ruination? I don't want to. But this. Lux is going to get one balance. Worst case scenario is they're playing deny. That's like worst case scenario. That's rude. So they go back up to eight. They can't have deny. I get to have an, a flipped at, or a flipped thrash now, which by waiting, like if I cast ruination, we don't get to flip thrash. But now we get to flip thrash. So of course, the worst case is the deny for the the harrowing. Please no deny. Let's go. Opponent surrender. No deny. Can't deny the Ash Heroine. It's a good combo. Ruination away the board. On their turn, bring it back on your turn. <laughs> So we're going to have Ash, Ash, Rekindler, bring back Ash, and Thresh, that's going to be able to attack and bring back Ash. So we're going to have four Ashes on that. Yeah, yeah, Pono's just a little impatient. They just, I guess, didn't appreciate me thinking about my decision uh, whenever we are you know, in turn 10 of a super close game. Okay, what do we got? Zed Garen. Zed Garen. No. Hmm. I think I'll just take all the these. I like that brittle steel. So like Vile Feast gets rid of a barrier. Rhymefang Wolf. 
Could be some interaction and can kill some stuff. And then Harsh Winds is a good late game. Um, wrap. Good late game thing. Barrier on the two one. I it's not bad, especially that I get the spider. Definitely not a bad trade. My shield is yours. Safeguard our citizens. What do we do? Winter take you. Frostbite Frostbiting the 4-4. Four four, uh, to try to, you know, not let them attack with that thing. We have the brittle steel for something else. No, I don't think Spider Aggro is the best. I like I like Bannerman Zed myself. But yeah, everything's pretty rounded out. There's lots of different things you can do. Um, Ezreal, like besides Bannerman Zed, Ezreal is really popular, whether it's either Ezreal Karma or Ezreal Draven. Both those two decks are very popular. I'd have to use Harsh Winds for that. Um, I know, like, this, this doesn't really help my Ruination. Like, my plan is kind of a Ruination. But maybe this helps them get more things, you know, put more things out in play before Ruination. I don't want to just get these, you know, I don't want them to have five cards in hand when I Ruination. I want them to have a lot less. Okay. 
So yeah, nice. down to three cards. That's better. No place for the kind. I like that. We get to play Chronicler of Rune and draw a card. So you know it's it's us playing another thing and drawing a card. Uh that could be a big hit. Come on, play a creature. Come on. Don't have deny either. Play a creature and don't have deny. There's creature. It is kind of saying I have deny. Let it resolve. Darn, they have deny. I was, I was wondering if I should even just kind of try to play around that with like, you know, try to cast like Harrowing first. I don't know. I, I feel like it was, it was a very obvious deny when they played Garen. Like there's no reason to play Garen unless you have deny. Um, yeah, Karma, is Karma a control killer? That's too much value by herself, that's unactive. Um, like she's, yeah, like she's the win condition for, for control decks. I think that's what you mean. Like she's, yeah, she's like how the control decks win. anything with that spider. Yeah, it's looking like GG. That's not very good. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one. It starts with this combination, killing Scythria. I think that's what it starts with. So they have like a repost like they did before, like that repost was really rough. Oh, no, just a purify. That's a that's a card to have. I'm not necessarily taking lethal this turn, right? Am I? Oh no, I am taking lethal this turn, never mind. No, no, I'm not. No, because we... Despite that. Right 
And obviously, like, they they said, like, good game, so they're, like, telling me they have, like, a... Like, they're trying to tell me that they have a, um... A deny. They're trying to tell me they have a deny. The last two cards of the Harrowing would have got were not very good. That's no deny right there. No deny. Three, six, 12, 15, 18, 21. We could be attacking for 21. We can make basically nothing be able to block. Yes, revive counts as summon. So yeah, cards that have summon abilities. But like, this is a, a play ability. But yeah, like Rekindler summons. Um, if opponent has nothing but five units, we actually win this game, which is crazy. Like if they don't have any spells to help to keep us from winning this. They don't have anything to stop us. None of these block. That's a good draw. Next turn. If if there's a next turn. If we... There is one. I'm supposed to just go for the win. We got there. They even gave us the GG. They even gave us the GG. And we were like, nah. It's over. The 4 1 dream stays alive. 80% win rate. Wow, what a video. What a deck. All five of those games were really sweet. Like that was those are some some really sweet games. I have to play this deck some more. This is a fun one to play, definitely. Yeah, this deck was awesome. Yeah, nothing nothing really that I want to change, but um Yeah, this was definitely a fun one to play. That was those are some awesome games. Alright, so that's that's our four one dream. Uh, you know, we lost to, what, Ezreal. You know, like, Ezreal just doing all that direct damage. We can't, you know, can't stop, uh, couldn't stop Ezreal just comboing off. But besides that, picked up all the wins in, in the rest of them. Some, some good close games. Another video, you know, all three of these were about an hour long. So, looks like for five games, takes about an hour to play. Anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this deck. If you were really impressed with it, like I was, um, you know, if you're playing it yourself, let me know how it's going for you, and also how you like this new, uh, the new format of just playing five decks and having a little shorter YouTube video. I mean, it's still an hour. You know, we're still playing an hour videos, but it's not. They're not two hour videos now. We're going one hour videos. Anyway, last thing also, if you want a donation deck, it's just a $10 donation. For those of y'all on YouTube, the donate link is down below, and I'll put it here in chat also. You can uh, tell me to play whatever uh, whatever deck. You can have me build the deck if you want me to build around something. Um, like, we got a donation earlier to build around Anivia, Thresh, and Hecarim. Make a deck with those three. Um, so, yeah, it's just $10 for that, and... Uh, uh, or if you have your own deck and you want, you know, you have your deck code, put that deck code in the description of the donation and I'll play it. Um, 
I think with the donation decks, I'll still do 10 matches because, you know, like that's something that's a deck that somebody donates for. So I'll probably still do 10 matches with that or or maybe maybe like seven or eight. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. Um, we'll see see what y'all think. But anyway, that's Ash Harrowing. So thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you for the next video.